Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy Weapons DLC video. Now in this video we're going to be adding a gun over to the AI rescue boat here that we've got. Along with that I'm going to teach you guys how to go and stabilize the gun. Now of course with a boat here in game the biggest factor when you're out cruising along in the ocean is going to be the waves. Now the waves will affect of course that gun that you're trying to aim and shoot at a target. So having that as level as possible and keeping on target all the times will of course help you hit your target. So we're going to go through in this video how to add a gun to your vehicle, show you guys how to set up a little bit of a turret and also how to go and stabilize it. So with that said, let's jump straight in the workbench and let's get started. All right, so now that we're in the workbench, we first thing we're going to do is convert this AI rescue service boat into having a gun here at the front. Now it's up to you on where you would of course like to place this. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna be placing my gun just here in the front where I had that emergency hatch, okay? Why not, okay? Now, what we're going to need is some pivots. Now, you can use all different types of pivots here for, for whatever type of gun you want to build. It's completely up to you. I personally like to use velocity pivots just because they can do a, hundred, a 360 degree turn, whereas robotic pivots can only do 90 degrees in either direction. Once again, it's up to you. You can choose any one you want to. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be using some velocity pivots. I'm going to use a large one at the bottom and I'm going to be using a small one at the top. So velocity pivot, let's go and put it maybe over here. And when you place it down, just press the O key once just to rotate it and then place it down. That means when you press the left and right, it will actually go in the right direction. You don't have to invert it. Uh, now that we've got that in, I mean, we could build like a little bit of a base for it. Like nothing special, guys. This is not going to be the best looking, but it will be functional for the purpose of this video. Let's just go and build something like that build that and maybe grab another pivot so let's grab another pivot and this time we're going to be using a velocity pivot now once again when you place the velocity pivot down make sure you press o once to go and rotate it the right way around that way when you press w and s it actually goes the right way once you've got that on uh let's go and add a cannon why not so let's go here one two three and let's go and add an auto cannon and i guess for the purpose of the video we'll do a small one Let's go and do that. Put that over there. Let's grab a belt. Go and let's go and grab a drum. Now we're going to grab a small drum. Nothing, nothing special. And let's go and add that in there. Okay, cool. So now we've got that nice and easy, very compact and small. Let's go and delete some of these extra blocks. We can also maybe add an extension barrel, get a little more stability out of that. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go and put some ammo in our gun. There we go. Uh, now, there's a few more things you're going to need. Now, I like to have a camera attached to my gun so I can obviously see where I'm aiming from inside in first person. So I'm just going to add a simple camera on and I mean, let's just go and put it there. It's once again, doesn't look great, but for the purpose of this video, it's perfect. Once we've got that on, uh, let's go and get this all connected in terms of how to control this. And then once we've got that, I'll then show you guys how to add stabilization to the gun later on. You'll see the difference that it makes, especially on a boat. So the first things first is I'm going to use uh, some space I have in here. And maybe let's use the seat and let's replace it with a pilot seat. There we go. And we're going to go onto the pilot seat and we're going to say the trigger is push. And we're going to be using our A and D and W and S. Now, when you got that, I recommend you probably change these settings down to maybe like 3%, 4%. Otherwise, it's going to go way too quick. And that's probably what I recommend for your WNS. Now we can get this all connected. So trigger is going to go over to the trigger of the gun. No, that's actually infrared. My apologies. We're going to go to the trigger of the gun. There we go. We're going to take our A and D to the left and right of this pivot. And we're going to take our WNS over to this pivot over here. Both of those are velocity pivots once again. You can also actually want, if you want to, you can click on these and make them like one to eight and make them react a little bit slower if you want to. Once again, completely up to you. Uh, last thing we need is some electricity. So, I mean, let's just go and steal it from one of these batteries. Connect it, connect it, connect it, connect it. And we should very be able to spawn this in and go and aim that gun, rotate it, move it around and let's just have some fun with it so let's go and have a look jump in here uh let's go and move it up there we go make it go down there it goes make it go left great and then of course i can play around with it even more okay now i do need to add a monitor inside and maybe a, uh, maybe connect that up to it but it definitely does work as you guys can see which is great okay 
Let's go and add a monitor. I also want to change those gear settings. They were a little bit too sluggish for me. So I probably want to go back down to like a 1x4 and a 1x4. I mean, you could even bring it down to like a 1x2. That way it reacts a little bit better. It's again, you can play around with those settings of your velocity pivots. Uh, let's add a display inside and that way we can actually see what we're shooting. So, I mean, we can come in here. We've got some, luckily, some space to put it. So let's go and delete that and we can just stick it in. I want it to be the same height as the person sitting in the seat. So, I mean, that should be pretty much good. Cool. Let's say that if anyone sits in that seat, then the monitor gets turned on. It's going to get some electricity from the battery, which is there. And the video signal is coming from our camera, which is over there. Now you can also adjust the field of view of that camera if you wanted to. And you could do that by using an up and down block and some threshold gates. There's a couple different ways you could do it. Um, at the moment, we're just going to leave it as is, like stock standard. And let's just go and test that and see if that's going to work. That way we can see the camera on the screen. We should be able to shoot and do a few other things. There we go. Move left. There we go. Go and fire it, as you can tell. Great, happy days. It is working. A little bit sensitive for me, so I might actually reduce the sensitivity down on that. But it is definitely working. Perfect. So once we've got that on, we can now work on the stabilization system. I'm just going to go and play around with these settings of my gears. Okay, we can add the stabilization system. So how are we going to do that? Well, this is where you can use a tilt sensor. Okay, the tilt sensor will allow you to measure how much your gun has tilted either up or down. Okay, and of course, depending on that, you can then tell it to correct itself. Now, it's up to you if you would like to use a mic controller, if you would like to use this basic logic. I'm going to guess that most of you probably want it as compact as possible. So you're going to use a mic controller. And let's just grab a blank one. I've got some one by one empty ones. If you don't have any blank ones, just go to your mic controller and click on new. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing. So once you're in your controller, the first thing you want to do is you want to change the size. Now, obviously mine was quite large before, so I'm going to make it quite large again. Uh, and the next thing you want to add is some logic. So we're going to need pitch in and pitch out. Those are the first two main things we're going to need. One to take our current pitch, which we have, and then one to take our new pitch and send it out okay so pitch out and this one will be pitch in okay i'll uh, make those both numbers this one will be in and this one is going to be an output once we've got that the next thing we're going to need is some way to turn the system on and off and maybe we can get that from the seat and the last thing we'll need is going to be our tilt sensor so we're going to get tilt and let's do tilt in okay and that's going to be a number input and that's all you need in terms of little nodes here we can now go into the logic, separate this out. So let's go over this. So as you can see, we've got our pitch in and we've got our pitch out. Now, normally this would just go straight through normally. And that's how we had it before. However, we want to go and activate our stabilizer. So how do we turn that on and off? Well, we can use a switch box if we want to, and we can also use an ad block. Okay. So we're going to say, if we turn the stabilizer on, I want you to go and add an on value to the switch box and I want you to send that through. We're going to then add that to what we currently have at the moment over into our actual pitch. Now, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. That's one way, but it doesn't really work the best. My personal way of how I'd probably do it is I will not use the ad block right now and I would go and put our pitch in and I would add that as the off and then I'll send that directly through. Then if I turn my system on, it's going to get a new value. Now, how are we going to get that new value? Well, there's a couple of different ways you can do this. The first thing we want to do is we want to store the value that our currently our gun is pitched at or tilted at. OK, and to do that, we can use a memory register. So once again, grab memory register. And what we're going to do is we're going to say, hey, when the stabilizer system gets turned on, we want you to send this to be set. Now, the problem is that when you turn the system on, it's going to be keep on sending an on signal, on signal, on signal which is going to keep on storing the value, storing the value, storing the value. We just want to store it once. So we're going to use a toggle to push. Okay, so toggle to push. And there it is. Grab that and we're going to go from the on block or on or switch, switch over into our store value. So now as soon as we turn it on for the first time, it's going to store its current tilt. Now it's going to give us that number out. 
So that's fine. We're happy with that. So how do we do, how do we use that current number to now go and tell our gun to go up and down? Well, that's where you can use a PID. Now PIDs are sometimes a little bit scary for people to use. However, if you just set them up very basically, like let's do one zero zero, work quite well, to be honest. Let's just use one zero zero. Now our set point is going to be our memory register. Our variable will be our current tilt. And we're going to turn this PID on once we turn the system on. Once we've got that, that's going to give us an output. That output will then tell us how we, our gun wants to go up and down. Okay. The only problem is the tilt sensor only reads a value out to you of between negative 0.25 and positive 0.25, whereas our pivot works on a negative one to one value. So what you want to do is you want to grab a function block and you want to go and take it and you want to times the tilt by four and then send it into the memory register and then send it into the PID. Now, once again, guys, this is not the best way or maybe not the, the perfect way of doing it. This is just the way I do it. I'm sure there's a hundred different ways that you can guys can set up a stabilization system on a gun. Once again, this is how I do it. Once you've got this in, now you're probably thinking, well, okay, if you got all this in and this little PID is controlling how it moves up and down, then what about our normal pitch? Because we still want to be able to push our gun up and down even when it's stabilized. So what do we do now? Well, you can take that set point that we have and add some more things to it. Okay, so we're going to click on add and we're going to add what we currently want the gun to be at. Grab an add block, add it in there, and then put that to the set point. Just like that. Spawn this in. Grab the logic. And you can see our new controller is here. Let's put it over there. And let's connect all this up. So we're going to go from our seat, which is the WNS. There we go. Into the pitch in. The tilt. Into the tilt. The pitch out. Into the velocity pivot. And then on and off, let's use what one in our seat. That should be fine. Uh, now the camera itself, you can of course adjust things if you wanted to on the camera. I don't want to. I just want it to work as it is. Let's go and test this. So jump here. Jump here. Jump in our seat. Happy, happy. Let's go and turn our stabilizer on, which is one. And now it should always be pointing in that general direction. If I go and raise it up, it raises it up and it should now be on a new memory. So it should always hold that current position once again. Okay, let's go and turn it to the right here. And then we'll go and maybe drive the gun or drive the boat a little bit and see how well it manages to maintain that. Okay, which would be quite interesting. Obviously, we can still fire and stuff. You can see it's firing on the spot there. Okay. And keeps on firing and firing and firing and firing and firing. Uh, cool. Let's go and maybe drive the boat a bit. So let's get this turned on. Let's go a bit. And let's have a look. Can you see how that gun is keeping almost perfectly level with where I originally had that tilt? Look here. So as I go left and right, can you guys see how that gun is tilting itself? up and down to try and keep that same level that I set to it earlier on, which is pretty cool. Means that you can do aiming much better now. Okay. For example, let's keep ourselves in a nice trajectory in that general direction. Let's jump back in our gun. And I mean, like, let's imagine that we were trying to aim at something over in the distance here. You can see how the gun you keep it level with the horizon just over there in the background kind of squint and have a look at that you can kind of see how the gun is moving up and down to try and keep that same trajectory okay but let's go to there let's just imagine we're trying to shoot at i know the land over there okay once again you can see how it's leveling itself out while we're going over the waves very useful Okay, very useful. Now, if you're finding, so we bring us back to the workbench. If you're finding your gun is a little bit slow or it's not quick enough to react to the changes in the waves, there's a couple different things you guys can do. Okay, so you can click onto the mark controller, click on confirm, go back into the PID and you can change these settings. So we could increase this to five. If we wanted to, we could decrease it. We could add maybe a 0 0.001 here. On our integral gain, maybe a 0.1 on our turret of gain, update that gain, and that will probably react a little bit quicker. 
So, I mean, let's go and try it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and jump on the boat. Let's get it started. And let's get it moving. So, we're going to go in that general direction there. We'll find some waves to jump over and we'll see how the gun in the front keeps nice and level. Okay, so let's just do that. Let's jump to our gun now. And you can see the gun just chilling out nicely in front of us right there. And now we put it on stabilized one. And now let's go over some waves. Okay, so full speed ahead. And you can see how I slowed down and stopped. See how the gun is raising up and raising down according to how the boat is tilting. I mean, can I... I don't know, do I have... I don't have the option to trim this boat, I don't think. No, I can't trim this boat. I thought I might have an option to do that. Um, I mean, we can always get some bigger waves, can't can we? You can see how that's trimmed itself to be nice and level there in the front. Let's get some more built waves. 100% waves? Yeah, why not? Okay. And let's see how that gun in the front is currently trying to. See there? Look at that. See how it went down? It's trying to keep as level as possible. Yeah, and that's a stabilized gun. Now, you don't have to use this for boats. You could use this for, I mean, for tanks, for vehicles, anything that's going over uneven surface, whether it's a obviously like now waves or if it's going to be roads or a mountain or so on so that's very useful to add a stabilization system over to one of your vehicles so guys we're going to end it over there hopefully you have enjoyed this uh, nice little video on how to one add a little gun to your creation and two how to go and stabilize it uh, i do recommend if you guys are looking for more information on how to build with the new weapons dlc components and the guns Go check out my video I did on the full tutorial on all the new weapons. I also included an example there for you guys to download with uh, some firing systems, aiming systems, uh, tilt sensors, all kinds of cool things on there. So go and check it out um, and you can use that in your own creations or you can build it like we have today in this video. So if you have enjoyed it, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. Until the next one, we will see you then.